here we are in Eythorn Garage. Um, Yellow Barrel is going in for her MOT. And it's not Eythorn, it's Eythorn. It's about Eythorn, but it's Eythorn. Hopefully she'll pass. So here we are in the village of Eythorn in East Kent. I'm about to go on a walk down a public footpath. I've never been down here before. I'm waiting for my van to be MOT'd. Yellow Beryl. I'm sure you'll see more of her in the future. And there's Bertie. And we're off on a walk. Bye. And so, the footpath from that narrow little walkway has opened up into a beautiful little English wood. You can't be an English wood, I find. Well, a bit of English wood. I mean, yeah, an English wood. Um, I'm out, so I've got my van in for MOT, but I'm trying to lose the belly. I've been pregnant for too long. It just won't come out. So, I'm starting with two miles a day walking. Um, this week, I've managed to do uh, 10 miles. So today, hopefully it will be 12 but beautiful little wood and I'm off with Bert so still on my walk behind me you can see a little fence you don't see many of these fences anymore they're like a bit of a five bar gate but in metal um, so that's probably quite old but probably not, I don't know how old but quite old I don't know if you can see down here um, in the nettles Oh, there we go. I don't know if you can see. Deadly nightshade. Who should we knock off tomorrow? I know a few people. Oh, no, 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 no. Wouldn't say that. So, out of the woods, so to speak, and a beautiful field. Look at those trees. Look at the rolling hills. This is East Kent. East Kent actually is one beautiful place. I think much underrated the countryside round here. And off Burke goes. Just had my first encounter with a local. A really nice chap. Told me that this goes all the way round and back into the woods and back to Aethorn. Oh, look at that tree. Oh, that's a beauty. God, I didn't see that. See, look, too busy talking to you lot. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Ah. Uh, wow, what a little perfect hobbit hole. I wonder, metal detectorists need to get out here. See, maybe some hidden treasure buried in the ground. Wow, this is lovely. What a beautiful tree. And look at that bark. Fabulous. So another shot of the fields. Um, and here, following local information, Going back into the woods. Let's see what we see here. So it opened out into another field. It's funny, I don't know if you know, see Bert in the distance. But just how um, humans impact the land. I know it's commonplace, but a few people walking here daily. And suddenly you've got a path through a field. Oh look, come to a nice little spot here where some kids look like they've made um, some dirt jumps. Uh, when my boy was younger, I used to take him to these a lot. Very different from our day when we built ramps out, oh, we built ramps out of um, milk crates and planks of wood and someone's made a little fire pit, which is cute. Uh, same about the rubbish, at least it's in the fire pit. Um, more jumps. Yeah, we used to um, 
Oh, but there was a girl. What was her name? Samantha. And I used to jump. I mean, I, on my bike, I used to jump her. Um, and we'd mark out how many people. I think we got to like seven people, seven of her. She'd be the end one. And I'd have to clear her, take off from that ramp and get over her. Thankfully, no fails there. Well, wow, I don't know if you can hear that. That sounds like some kind of bird of prey. Don't know quite what. Maybe a car. Maybe a kite. Wow. There's something so bouncy about walking in the forest. Because people obviously don't, it doesn't get heavy traffic. And all the leaves and detritus build up. It's almost like you're springing along. You can't help it. But yeah, walk in the woods with Bertie. So, little round trip. I'll tell you what the kilometres were in a minute. But there's the uh, road. There's Bert having a good sniff. Where's he gone? There he is. Um, so uh, let's go and see how yellow barrel fared. Hopefully a pass. So that was a brisk little walk of about one and a half miles. Um, Beryl's not outside yet. Hmm. Anyway, let's go and see. So, unfortunately, Yellow Beryl has failed. Oh, God. I'm down at Peter's Yard. Sandwich statics. And Yellow Beryl needs more work. Uh-oh.